Harvinder Singh. I'm a filmmaker from India and I'm showing a, a film called Bitter Chestnut. Um, it's a film set in the mountain region of the Himalayas and it's uh, about a boy, a young boy of 17, his name is Kishan, who lives in a very remote village and where there are where the, <clears throat> there's an old way of living and people are basically dependent on agriculture and uh, livestock for their daily needs. Uh, so there is hardly any business or any kind of uh, uh, modern necessities which, uh, uh, <clears throat> which can give, generate any kind of new employment. So a lot of young boys from these uh, remote Himalayan villages migrate to cities like Delhi and even going to places like Goa, where, which is known for its tourism, to work in uh, restaurants and cafes and bars. Uh, and, uh, and yet at the same time, because Himalaya is uh, less polluted, more uh, <clears throat> I mean, natural and uh, a cleaner way of life. So a lot of people who are fed up of living in the cities, even with the pollution of the cities and the noise and the hectic life, uh, and who can afford to live elsewhere are wanting to live in the mountains. So, you know, at the same time, though people from the mountains want to go and live in the cities, yet at the same time, a lot of people, I myself went and lived in the mountains for three years. So it's, it's, so it's about this contrast, you know, and how uh, tourists bring a certain kind of idea of modernity from the outside and leave impressions on the young people there. Yes, it's, it's, it's about the daily life. The film also shows the traditional way of life. And as I said in the introduction, that it's about the traditions coming in contact with modernity from the outside world. Uh, so, you know, the tradition wants uh, Kishan to continue a way of life which people are used to, you know. So his father in the film is a carpenter. Father wants him to learn carpentry. Grandmother also wants him to learn carpentry but he wants to go and work in a cafe. Um, uh, and, uh, and you know, the kind of people he sees, at, so he's working in a cafe and the kind of people he sees in the cafe and meets them and the experiences and, uh, and seeing tourists. Uh, uh, so it's kind of, you know, creates this kind of uh, uh, conflict within him, you know, whether to continue living here or, you know, to, to, to go and explore the world outside. Uh, so, so actually the film doesn't have much of a, it doesn't have really a plot. Uh, it's not dramatic in that sense, but uh, the drama is in the little bits of, uh, you know, interactions and the drama is actually in the contrasts in the two, in the, in, 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 the, in the everyday, the contrast with the everyday life with the everyday life of the people who have come from outside and, you know, their, uh, and the film, so the film is in a way also, also about his aspirations and, you know, I mean, when you're growing up, you still, you still, your view of the world is getting formed. You are not very sure what you want to do in life. So it's like slowly, it's like so. It's, it's in a way a kind of a coming of age film. You are slowly realizing what you want to do in life, and there are no answers. <laughs> it's number eighteen. There are, of course, there are a lot of <clears throat> great films in the festival, but I was planning to only watch films uh, which, uh, uh, the Asian films which are nominated for the Kim Ji Seok Award. So, and I'm planning to see all of them. So I think I anticipate all those films, but I don't think I have one particular film to pick and say. Yes, there are a lot of films from international directors which I would like to see, but I might, I would rather see them later somewhere else and uh, see the films which are uh, the pick for the award here the, from the Asian films. Yeah. So please do watch Bitter Chestnut because it's a very, uh, in, its, uh, in its heart, it's a very simple film about a boy who is coming of age in a, in a, in a remote uh, Himalayan village. So you get to see both uh, the traditional way of life and how uh, <clears throat> the new things like urbanization and uh, modern technology like cell phone are changing the way people are living. And, uh, and, and, the, and, the most, and I think the most important thing about the film is that there are no actors in the film. Uh, so Kishin, who is the main uh, protagonist of the film, he, uh, he's not an actor. And, uh, uh, and he actually, uh, the film is actually shot in his village, in his house. 
His father plays his father, his mother is his mother, his grandfather is his grandfather, his brother is his brother. Uh, so, uh, so actually, and so the neighbors and aunts and everybody is actually real. So in a way, it's like uh, it's it's almost like a staged uh, documentary in that sense. And I think uh, that's uh, something uh, new for me as a film director to have worked with absolutely no actor and casting people in their real life roles, but giving them scenes to enact.